Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If you are someone who enjoys talking about film, I'm about to click on the subscribe button. So today we're going to be talking about Netflix's newest spooky movie, Hubie Halloween. So Hubie Halloween is a rated PG-13. It was released on Netflix on October the 7th. It stars Adam Sandler. And of course, like any Adam Sandler movie, we of course get all his friends to return, except for David Spade. David Spade would not, was not in this one. We also get a couple Disney Store actors, and we get Noah Schnapp from Stranger Things and Julie Bowen. And then at the very beginning of the movie, actually the very first scene, we get a very special little cameo from a certain orderly that, you know, one may remember from one of uh, Adam Sandler's earlier films from like the 90s. Now is this the worst movie that Sandler made? The one that he promised us if he didn't get nominated for an Oscar? If you haven't seen Uncut Gems, you guys, yeah, I must see Uncut Gems. I think it's still on Netflix. I still say that The Wrong Missy was the worst movie <laughs> that he's ever, oh my god. I know he wasn't in that movie, but it was a Happy Madison production, and oh no, oh that's terrible. It came out earlier this year, don't watch it. So in Hubie Halloween, we follow Hubie Dubois, who of course is played by Adam Sandler, and of course he has to name like Hubie, because then that way they can call him Pubie. Because this movie, even though it is set, you know, during this time, it really has that feeling of like the 80s 90s as far as bullying goes because you really don't see that type of bullying anymore you would see it a lot back in the day I mean the bullying really gets really ridiculous especially when he's riding his bike and like people are like throwing shit and he's like dodging everything but that kind of gets old like really quickly but if bullying is not your cup of tea and it's just something that you don't like to see whether it be with children or grown-ass people then this movie is probably not gonna be for you honestly this movie is not gonna be for everybody because it, it's not great you guys i'm not even going to lie it's not a good movie but but I actually enjoyed it to be honest I enjoyed it for what it was I laughed throughout the movie I mean there were certain parts that I was just like oh, I don't know about this this didn't really work but you guys let's face it Adam and like his friends they know the type of movie that they're making they, they they do but like I said it is a fun movie but you definitely need to shut off your brain I saw it after work I really just sat down relaxed I was tired this movie is about Hubie who is the self-appointed like volunteer for Halloween he absolutely loves Halloween this favorite time of year of course the movie does take place on halloween night when things go bump in the night just to add a little bit more sprinkle onto this movie it is set in salem we also get a little love story within the movie as well which is where we get julie bowen that whole love story is kind of like mm. the character of hubie honestly is kind of like the water boy the voice also the voice is way worse in this one though um one thing though i do recommend for you guys which i think really really helped me because i'm not gonna lie i did see a couple uh, reviews before I actually saw it just to kind of see what I was getting myself into because I knew it wasn't gonna be like gold and the reviews that I saw weren't terrible one of the things that people were saying was that where he mumbles the voice that he decided to go with for this character is absolutely terrible it's mumbling it's really really hard to understand so a lot of people were saying that they would recommend to watch it with subtitles which is what I did and honestly I caught myself reading those subtitles a lot because you just could not understand that man one positive about the movie you guys is that the ending actually has a really good message so there you go at least you have that to look forward to it really does it really has a really nice message about bullying and like why are you picking on this person bullying like you guys it, it, it's a lot and it's like the whole fucking town of Salem like not just the adults but the kids he's literally like the town joke and when the movie ends you guys don't just turn it off I know some of you are gonna be like I just can't with this movie anymore but you know just maybe fast forward a little bit because uh once we get to the end of the very first set of credits he does have a very nice dedicated moment for Cameron Broyce he played his son in Grown Ups so I really like that he had a little moment there for him. It's Adam Sandler, it's his friends getting together, doing a movie. And I'm not even gonna lie to you guys, out of his Netflix partnerships, this one is actually my favorite. It has some really nice spooky elements to it as well. I mean, I didn't get scared or anything like that, but it has some really nice moments to it. And it just goes really good during this time of year. So if you're not really into Adam Sandler, if you're not really into comedy, especially if you're not into stupid comedy, I love stupid comedy. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest with you well it has to be made like a certain way but this one was kind of like right on the edge of just being terrible but still had that really nice good stupid comedy that i love desiree also really enjoyed it i think the movie 
really ran pretty well never really was like oh my god when is this movie going to end but with that said i'm gonna give it actually two ratings a critical rating and then i don't know like i guess like a casual rating i don't know i've never done this before it's the only movie i've ever done two ratings for so critically it's gonna get a small popcorn because it's really not technically the greatest movie really not and then casually i'm gonna go ahead and give it a medium popcorn because i had a good time with it i'm like one of like a tiny percentage of people who actually enjoyed the movie because it, it's not really getting a lot of love if you are someone who is into this type of comedy into adam sandler comedy then i do recommend for you to watch it but just want to inform you that the majority of people are not for this movie they they're giving it very very low ratings but that is all that i have to say about hubie halloween if you've seen it what did you guys think about it did you like it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Was it just not for you? Would you classify this as Sandler's worst movie that he's made? Do you think this is his payback? Let me know down below. Of course, before you guys click out of this video, don't forget to give it a like. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time I post something new. Until next time, I'll see you guys at concessions. Bye!